welcome to God Center. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. We are having an excellent time. We are going through a lot of different changes, good changes. So I'm excited to bring y'all up to speed and I will be doing that soon. Not just yet though. Uh, so on today's video, we will be talking on the topic of encouragement and trusting in the Lord. That's what we're talking about. And this is just something that uh, is also a story time, I should tell you, um, that uh, I went through this week, something that I went through this week. Uh, so let's jump into it, shall we? So nevertheless, on this week, I was the victim of theft. Someone stole my wallet. And I'm not going to elaborate much on all the details, but I will just let you to know that when somebody steals something that is personal to you, something that belongs to you, you know, I have like this MAC lipstick, like I love this color. I can't tell y'all what color it is because honestly, it, it, it has, it's just not there anymore. But nevertheless, it's been it's been in trauma with my other makeup. But but I love this lipstick. You know when you have something that you just love and, and you just it just you just need it. You, just, you want it, you need it, you reach for it all the time. Well, that's my wallet, you know. And nevertheless, it was stolen from me on this week, and I was not happy, y'all. And I know that the Bible says, "Bless the Lord at all times, and His praise will continually be on my mouth." But at the moment that I realized that my wallet had been stolen and my phone was going off with all the alerts. If you guys don't have alerts set up on your phone to alert you when your credit card is being used in large amounts, or maybe you can set an amount, y'all, you need to do this because we do live in this world. We're not in heaven just yet. So if you guys don't have that set up, um, look into your, your institution, uh, banking institution, financial institution, and find out what kind of alerts you can receive uh, for, you know, to avoid fraud and, and identity theft. And I encourage you, please do not carry your social security card in your wallet. I thank God did not have my social security card in my wallet. There's just some things you do not want to have in your wallet or on your, you know, leave at your job or different places that you may find yourself because if someone else, the wrong hands get on it, it could be a problem. So I had to cancel pretty much everything in my in my wallet had to be canceled. I had multiple store credits that I had not used. If you have store credits, people, use your store credits because if someone get a hold of it, you, you, you cannot reclaim it. It's gone. It's done. Okay. And also, I would encourage you to, if you find yourself the victim of something, uh, you know, like what I went through on this week, be sure to contact all the credit unions, or, you know, the, the not credit unions, excuse me, Experian, Equifax, all of them. Contact them so that you can put forth a uh, notification that you have been a victim of potential identity theft, whatever have you, because you don't know what this, what a person may try to do afterward with your information. So I hope that this is helpful to somebody. But moving along in this video, um, what I want to say is in what I had to encourage myself in this because if we're not careful and we get attached to the little things if, that we find ourselves attached to creature comforts, as I like to refer to them, um, you can really find yourself in a funk when someone when when, you, when it's taken from you uh, or you don't know where it is. Let's even say you you lose it, you just don't know where it is, and now you're in a funk because. You have become attached to the things and the, the, the things of this world. So I just want to encourage you to not be caught up. Don't get so attached to the things of this life. And I'm not saying that you should not be upset if somebody takes your belongings. I was not happy about it. But at the same time, did it cause me to feel like misery and woe and death has come upon me? No, it did not. It just caused me to realize I had to act and I had to act fast to cancel some things, but I also throughout that process just was talking to God and asking God to console me and not cause me to be too attached to these things because none of these things can we take with us when we die. So just keep that in mind, whether your car gets stolen, I know that's a bigger item, but it, it's, it's, it's an item, it's a thing. Okay. So just want to encourage you to not get caught up with that. Um, and there's a scripture that I found this week that really helped me and it is coming out of Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 and it reads 
If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. And I, again, am not saying that we are not to, we are in the earth. We live here. Okay. While we're here, we, we have to acknowledge that we're here, but not to set our minds on it, not to let that be the only thing on, on your mind. Think on the things above. Think on how you can represent Christ. Whenever I realized that my wallet was, st was stolen, people around me were expecting me to freak out. And people will, when they see something happen to you, they will expect you to react in a certain way. And it's not like we have to put on acting skills or anything like that, but we ought to remember who we are in Christ Jesus and who, who our daddy is who are king, we are royalty, we are children of the most high God, and he has everything that pertains to us under control. So knowing that we can conduct ourselves in a certain way, we can invite the Holy Spirit, which hopefully you've already done into your life, so that he can rule and reign over your life and your words, even when, when you're walking through a situation such as what I walked through this week, that I was able to conduct myself in a way where people around me were like, why is she not freaking out? Why is she not, you know, I, I handle myself in a way that shocked them. And that's a testimony in and of itself. It may, may, want, may want to make those people say, what kind of God is she serving? Who, who is the God she's serving? Because we, I need a little something to that. So here's a, this opportunity is what I'm saying to you guys in adversity, there is opportunity and see that don't, don't lose that because God can use that very thing that was meant to take you down. What the devil meant for evil. God could take that thing and turn it all the way around and have people around you get saved. Hello? So am I happy? Would I encourage us to start throwing our belongings out and just let people snatch it just so we can can react in a, and act in a certain way? No, I'm keeping it real with you, keeping it 100. Okay, no. But I am saying when those moments come, when those times come, remember that this is another opportunity. This is an opportunity for us to shine for Christ. This is an opportunity for us to represent kingdom and who we are rolling with and knowing that our daddy God has everything under control. And my last point is in the midst of whatsoever trial you may find yourself walking through, whether it's this week or in this life period, this weekend to come, whatever, remind yourself of this or ask yourself, I should say this question, who do you trust? Do you trust God? How can you worship God truly if you don't trust God, like that is, that's an amazing thought to have. Do you really trust God? I know I do. I know that even with, with what happened this week, that incident, I was able to just reflect on everything that God has brought me through and the things he's walking me through even prior to that situation happening. And I was able to just say, God, you have been good. You have been good and you have been faithful. And you will continue to be faithful. And I was able to just worship God just in my attitude and, and, and in my mindset. Because God is able to know your thoughts. I hope you know that. He, he knows our thoughts. So if we was like, oh, I can't believe you let this happen. I don't believe why you why you just couldn't let their hand blow up. Why you couldn't just like not let the card work. Because you know, sometimes you go to, the, to, to buy something and the swipe don't work. Well, it worked for the thief. You know what I mean? So we can have all these thoughts going through our mind, but be aware that God knows your thoughts. So again, Trust in the Lord and in the power of his might and just know that all things work together for them that are in Christ Jesus. So that is it, y'all, for this episode of God Center. I hope that you have a blessed day and evening, whatever time you're watching this. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you can be notified every time a new episode is released here at God Center. I'll see you next time on God Center. But until then, be sure that you keep God at the center of all you do. Bye-bye.